Hello, my dear friend. Today I prepared for you an old mess problem from post war 1920s Germany. Our task is to find the sum of these six fractions. Here we are skipping the common denominator search, because it's a time consuming process and can get too complicated. Instead, I propose to have some mathematical fun. Before we get started, I would kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel. Your support will help it to grow faster and you'll be a crucial part of that growth. Let's take a closer look at the denominators of the given fractions. The first that catches your eye is that the pair 20 and 30 might have something in common, as well as the pair 42 and 56 and 72 and 90. The denominators of these fractions can be easily factored. For instance, 20 can be factored as 4 and 5, 30 as 5 and 6, 42 can be factored as the product of 6 and 7, 56 as product of 7 and 8, 72 as 8 and 9, and 90 as a product of 9 and 10. The numerator of each fraction is 1. Now, Let's define this one as the difference between the numbers we listed in the denominator. So, for the first case, if we want to get 1 in the numerator, we can express it as 5 minus 4. For the second, as 6 minus 5, the third as 7 minus 6, and so on. This mathematical expression is the same as this one. We will just express it in a different way. Now, let's divide these big fractions into smaller ones. This would be 5 over 4 multiplied by 5 minus 4 over 4 multiplied by 5 plus 6 over 5 multiplied by 6 and so on. As you can see now, there is an opportunity to simplify each fraction. So we've got 1 fourth minus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth minus 1 sixth plus 1 sixth and so on. Now we need to do a final simplification. So we have 1 fourth minus 1 tenth. Let's bring them to a common denominator, which is 20. We multiply the numerator of the first fraction by 5 and the numerator of the second fraction by 2. 5 minus 2 over 20, or it is 3 over 20. And that is the answer. Please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode.